On our earlier segment, we showed how to install the wires into the controller for the rain sensor, the wireless rain sensor. Now we're going to show you how to pair the sensor transmitter to the receiver to make sure it's receiving the correct signal. Under normal circumstances, all you would have to do is to press the plunger and wait for the rain sensor drop to appear and that's all it takes to pair it up. And now we know that when the rain sensor is active, what you're going to see in the display is alternating between the current time you're going to see the word SEN for sensor and that's an indication that the sensor has been activated and is wet and anytime that this red water drop shows up on the sensor status you should see the sensor status on the display once the red water drop has disappeared and the sensor is dried out you no longer see the sensor warning in the display. In the event that you've lost communication or the sensor had been active for a long period of time and you see some abnormal flashing of the, the lights or you needed to change the battery, it may be necessary to repair the transmitter to the receiver. To do this, you must hold the smart bypass button down until the signal light and the rain sensor status light flash in unison. It usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds for this to occur. But if you keep holding the button down, you'll see that they both flash in unison. Once they do, by pressing and holding the plunger down, you'll see that the red sensor status light stays lit and now it's paired up. So by removing pressure onto the plunger, the light goes out, it's in the dry condition. By applying pressure to the plunger, it's now in the wet condition and the rain sensor light went on. And that's all there is to pairing up the two transmitter to the receiver of an RS-1000.